What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel, man. I had to come with y'all with a quick update. <clears throat> 2K23 is coming out this year. Uh, it is July the 6th. I'm going to say I'm recording this late at night. Uh, I've been busy a little bit working, trying to get some more videos recorded. Um, but yeah, man, uh, 2K23 is around the corner and it is time for us to start getting some news. I will try to keep up. I will try my best. But right here, we're going to talk about the 2K trailer. We're going to talk about the different types of uh, 2Ks that's coming out, the standard, and then, you know, the other additions they always have. Uh, we're going to talk about some leaks, and we're also going to talk about uh, what we know so far about uh, uh, my career. Uh, so, so far, we're about to show y'all this trailer real quick. I'm not going to play the audio because I am not trying to get copyrighted. Y'all know how YouTube and 2K and stuff, they will strike your channel. So we gonna watch this, and it's just a trailer, it's just a Jordan Edition trailer. It ain't nothing, it ain't really no gameplay. It's just we know not to get excited from the trailer, cause that's just a trailer. So let's sit back, watch it real quick, and see what's going on. Yeah, let's, Hold on, y'all. Let's 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 get a better. Oh, well, we got the best quality we can be at. All right. Okay. This ain't this ain't really nothing though, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking next year they probably gonna have Kobe since it's gonna be 2K24. Since this is 2K23, it makes it makes perfect sense to have Jordan on there. Uh, hopefully, eventually they'll bring back Allen Iverson on the cover because y'all know back in the day when 2K first came out, Allen Iverson was on 2K. 2K1, 2K2, 2K3, 2K4. <laughs> and then they had Ben Wallace on 2K5 so after that. So this is the 2K23 Michael Jordan edition. Uh, you can pre-order it on the 7th of this month. So on 2K Intel, this is the standard edition, which is going to be your $69.99 on Xbox uh, Series X, Xbox Series S. Uh, PS5, I think on the PS4 and Xbox Series and uh, Xbox X, I think it's still gonna be uh, like $64. <clears throat> but you know, if you do have a next gen console, it will be $69. A lot of people are not happy with Devin Booker being the uh, the standard edition. Now, I can understand if y'all said he was a uh, the legend edition of the next 2K, but he's not. Okay, he is the standard edition, which I think is pretty cool. I don't like the cover art. But I think he deserves it. These past three years, bro has been, you know, proving himself. Besides last year, okay, his past playoffs wasn't, a, you know, wasn't a big, you know, he didn't, yeah, he kind of made me mad. So, yeah, this is a nice cover art though. Uh, it's got leaked out, so this is the cover art of Devin Booker. They could have did a better angle or a different angle or a different picture, really. Uh, if you see on the on the right corner, they got the deserts because he is in Phoenix. Uh, it is hot out there, so it is a desert. I understand the flames. I guess that's flames uh, right here behind him. You got the desert at the back, so it makes sense. There will be flames, and that's the sky. So uh, it's okay. It's cool. Um, right here, this is the championship edition. Uh, this is Michael Jordan's championship edition. This here, right here, looks nice. I'm telling you. It looks nice. I don't know which edition I'm getting. Uh, we're going to figure out real soon. Once I talk about the different... We're going to figure out which one I'm going to get this year. I'm not for sure which one I'm going to get. But I know I'm going to get the Jordan edition. Either the Jordan edition or the championship edition. Uh, we're going to read about it real quick. Um, in a few minutes. Which edition is the best one. Which one I'm going to be getting. Uh, we're going to discuss it. Like I said, man, I've, I've been trying to... I've been waiting since... January this year on some new 2K news and yes, it's finally coming out. I'm happy. No matter what I'm doing, bro, I will be providing y'all information on every new thing that they drop, TikToks, videos, everything. All right, so this is the Michael Jordan edition. Uh, now I like this cover art. Um, I don't know, bro. It's, it's it's you know it ain't. I'm not too really big on cover arts like uh, last year, man. This uh, 2K22 cover right here. I don't know how much this edition is gonna cost. Third cover art of the uh, 2K23 of this year. We saw Devin Booker. We saw the championship. 
uh, Michael Jordan one, and this is the Michael Jordan edition as well. So Michael Jordan has two editions, and uh, Devin Booker is just a regular standard edition. Uh, so this is a nice cover art. Um, between the three, Devin Booker being last, of course. Uh, I like, I like, uh, I like, the, I like the jersey. I like the jersey. I like the jersey a lot better, man. To me, uh, you know, this is this is basically got the PS5 logo. This is what it looks like. Now that's nice. Like I said, I like I like the jersey better. You know, because it's autographed right there. I don't know, just something about it, man. It just look nice. Look nice. Look nice. All right, y'all. This is Michael Jordan with hair. This is the '80s Jordan. This is what he's gonna be looking like. I don't know. He look a little different. It's like they change his look every year. They kind of tweak it every year. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, bro. I just, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a. Uh, it, I don't know. I just don't like Jordan to me. A little bit, a tad bit, not a lot. And then when you got the 90s Jordan, the ball Jordan, it looks like him. You see how his head looks kind of like shaped funny though? You see, I mean, it kind of, you know, I don't know, but they show you 80s and 90s. All right, y'all, this is coming from um, 2K Intel. Uh, this is confirming that uh, the city is back. Like I was telling one of my buddies the other day, uh, 2K likes to do, I think, stuff in like three years three year increments so i think this would be the third time we'd had the city i know the second or third i'm not for sure can't even think about it but i know we're back at the city they just uh, they just confirmed it so they said make your name in the city the biggest basketball world yet playstation 5 and xbox series x or s or embark on an epic voyage aboard the only cruise for the uh, PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. So for the people who said they won't cross play or you know, merge into one big thing, it's not happening this year. Maybe next year. I don't too much care for it. Uh, you know, I don't think they wanna do it, even though they, I think they can. But I'm not, I don't work for Take Two. I don't work for 2K, so I can't even say they can and can. But I don't really care for it, you know what I'm saying? I say keep separate, you know? Until they have a, enough people actually having a PS5 or the Xbox Series S or X, they will continue to make games for the uh, last gen, and that's fine for me. Uh, no matter the journey with your my player, be ready to work, game rep, run the courts, test your limits in the Gatorade training facility, uh, and hit the shop for the freshest gear from the biggest brands before you compete. <coughs> uh, Year-round events earning rewards to keep you locked in. Now, the events, we all know what the events may be. Uh, the same events, they may have two, three other events uh, real soon. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're gonna be doing too much of that. Uh, new events, there's not too many new events they can really make up, you know. I mean, they had a few this year, but I ain't really, I ain't really play uh, uh, the city too much. I'm not a really big event person. I'm not really big of a park person. I prefer a rec or pro-am or head to head, that's uh, mainly what I play. Uh, also, the training facility, the Gatorade training facility. When, I, when the game first came out, you know, people want to be adventurous, so I saw people in there, but as the game got older and older, I didn't too much see people in the, in the, in the training facility. Um, you know, the freshest gear, is gonna be the same gear as last year, they may add some more. And please, 2K, don't, don't have the, the, the the clothes be so dang on high, like God, and you gotta, you gotta go spend about fifty dollars on VC just to get what two sets of clothes and, and probably one pair of shoes. Like God, dang, like dude, I don't know, man. That's just that's just me. Uh, I I run around with brown shirt and gray sweats and have some Jordans on until I can really afford uh, everything else because I'm really worried about my rating more than I'm worried about uh, my clothes. All right, y'all, uh, I was gonna be doing a little series. I may still do it before 2K23 come out, but it is confirmed that uh, Jordan Challenge will be back. Now, if you had 2K11, uh, if you never played it, I, I advise you to go play it. Uh, 2K10 is when uh, Crew Mode came out. Uh, as y'all may know now, it's Pro-Am. Uh, but crew was a little bit different. You could, um, say for instance, I want to play with my crew. 
uh, but we had we didn't have a five. We'll put our crew on the Lakers, and we'll just substitute our my career players in as that position that we play. So if Kobe, if I had a shooting guard and Kobe Bryant was on the Lakers, I had to sub Kobe Bryant out. But if my dude happens to get tired or fouled out, I got Kobe Bryant. You see what I'm saying? I got I got Kobe Bryant to to help me out. Uh, but yeah, with this Jordan challenge. Um, you can unlock certain things <clears throat> um, like there's 10 challenges right there I don't know how many challenges are going to be in 2k23 I know you unlock shoes I think it was mainly just shoes you unlock if I'm not mistaken but they gave you different attributes I don't know what they're going to do this year but it may be the same <clears throat> hopefully um, it's the same just unlock some more shoes or they may have you unlock different gear or you know stuff like that all right y'all so the last two things i got for you guys is the michael jordan edition i'm telling you what it includes and also um the championship edition um it looks like like i told y'all earlier uh the standard edition will be 69.99 for uh next gen uh 100 for the michael jordan edition and 150 for the championship edition the last time a 2k was 150 dollars is when uh, Shaq, I believe, was the, and I wish I had it, I don't even have it no more. Um, uh, Shaq was the cover <clears throat> of, uh, I wanna say 2K17 or 18. You had the gold and the purple edition, I, I wanna say. I'm not for sure, but I know Shaq was the cover and it was either $100 or 150 uh, I wanted to get 150 because I am a big 2K fan. So with the Jordan Edition, you get dual uh, gen entitlement. So you can play on PS4, PS5. And I'm always say that because I have a PS4 and a PS5. You get 100K virtual uh, currency, 10K my team points, 10 my team uh, tokens, a Ruby Michael Jordan, 23 team uh, promo packs. Um, and then you receive 10 at launch. Um, and then a, a free agent option, my team, a Diamond Jordan shoe, my team card, Ruby Coach my, uh, card, my team pack, 10 boosts for each, my career skill boost. So you know uh, Gatorade, the boosters are back, Gatorade boosts are back on uh, my career, uh, four cover athlete t-shirts for your my player, a my uh, player backpack and arm sleeve, a custom design skateboard for my player, and one two hour uh, double XP coin. So, um, a lot of people I know is probably gonna go for this specific one right here, uh, but not me. Nah, I'm about to show y'all what I'm going for. This is what I'm going for. Uh, I was just telling my wife, I wanna say about two, three weeks ago, I'm getting the NBA League Pack so I can watch Dana every game. Uh, and this is a steal, man. This is really a steal to get. You have to get this. I mean, you don't have to, but if you watch basketball a lot, if you care about basketball a lot, like I do, this is the one for you. If you start paying on it right now, start paying on it right now, every two weeks you get paid, go put $25 down. This is the one right here. You get the 12-month NBA League Pass subscription for the whole year. Basketball don't start until, what, October? So I'm, I'm assuming that's when it's going to start. It may start when the game come out. Uh, Cause it's gonna matter of fact, the game come out uh, in September 9th. I think last year it came out in October. Uh, then you get a Michael Jordan theme go kart. We don't. I feel like some of the rewards they're gonna be giving us is the same thing, which is, is you know it's always repetition with 2K. 10% uh, XP boost on my team and my career season progression. That's cool. You get to play on PS4 and PS5. 100K uh, virtual currency, which I think they should bump it up to 200 if I'm paying 150. But that's cool. They're giving us a 12-month NBA League Pass. So I'm, I'm just shut up about that. You got the 10 My Team Tokens, the Ruby Jordan. Uh, basically, everything you got, the only thing that's different on this one is only three things. The 12-month NBA League Pass, the Michael Jordan theme go-kart, and a 10% boost on my team and my career season progression. That's the only three thing, things that are different. Other than that, that's it. That is really it, man. So, yeah, I, I, like I told y'all, I'm going with the 150 edition. This is the edition I'm going with. So right here, this is this is the one right here that I'm going with. The championship edition with the jersey on it. I'm sorry. It's, it, it's better than this. The cover art. The cover art, I'm telling you, the cover art is better than this. 
Um, and, 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 and I thought that was dope, but this Jordan one is dope. And the only reason why I'm getting this one, like I said, that 12 month subscription is, is, is what's gonna get a lot of people. So if you don't really watch basketball, I say don't get it. But if you do, I say do get it, man. It's, it's, a, it's an extra, because most of y'all was gonna spend $100 anyway if they didn't come out with a third edition. Some of y'all was gonna go ahead and just, it's 60 game and 69.99. Why not spend the extra 30 bucks to get the $100 edition? That's what y'all, most, most of y'all was gonna get. So instead of getting the $100 edition, you spend another 50. If you're gonna get the 100, just spend another 50. Now you got all, you got three things like I told y'all. Three things that you can get. Uh, the gold card, the 10x, uh, the 10% uh, progression, and a 12 month subscription. But y'all, like I said, I'm getting this one. I ain't changing my mind and nothing like that. But with that being said, you guys, this is all I have for y'all today. I'm out and I'm gonna see y'all when I